Sky is going to its new owner in Utah. She's going home, boys. You guys stay tuned for our next giveaway. I'm still deciding on what I want to do. I've loved drag racing. I've loved drifting this year. And so I'm wanting to do the next giveaway I do. I want it to be a, a purpose built car for something. So I guess you tell me, would you rather have a drift car or would you rather have a, like a purpose built Honda or Corvette or something that's like, fast for the drag strip. And for the longest time, I know a lot of you guys, I, we have a lot of fans in Australia, and I know you guys have been asking me for a long time to pull up. I've been talking with Luke Fink, and I think at the end of February, I'm gonna be in Brisbane, and uh, we're gonna be doing a track event with Luke at his track. So it's been a long time coming, but I think I'm finally gonna make it over there and see you guys. Also, by the way, we have a new drop. This is our late nights, long drive stuff. It's available on 5.3 Supply right now. I wasn't able to promote this because uh, we had a death in the family and I was away for a week. And then as soon as I got back, I got sick. Sunday is the last day it, uh, you can order if you wanna get any of the merch by Christmas. I would just say order sooner than later because you know how shipping companies can be. It's so pretty. All right, well, I just used my nice camera and filmed an entire video and the whole thing was out of focus. So I had the car behind me and it was really cool and I have something that you cannot see that I'm looking at right now, so I don't even know where to film. I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet, but my AMG was denied on bring a trailer. What? The heck? So that's super weird, right? Like, cause I always just, cause I've seen some really weird stuff on bring a trailer and I've always felt like they are the one site that kind of like allows unique cars to be posted for sale. Sorry, I already did all this and I, I'm thinking, I'm rethinking in my head and I guess how to condense it and not make it even a long video. So <sighs> about a month ago, I guess it was already about a month ago, uh, this month has been gone by so freaking quick already. Around a month ago, I made a video explaining that I'm getting rid of a lot of my cars so I can kind of start over. And, and if you guys want any details on that, you are more than welcome to go back and watch that video. A lot of people didn't watch that video because I think they thought it was clickbait. Go check it out. I give a lot of info in there and a lot of insight on what I'm doing. Doing. But right now, basically in short, um, I am getting rid of a lot of my cars so that I can uh, pursue more motorsports oriented stuff and even, you know, travel. Just having money around to do other things and not tied up in investments is what I'm wanting to do. A lot of these cars I bought, not really to make YouTube content around, it was more actually just to invest and hold until, you know, it's stocks. Evo 3, I think I'll still give it a shot on Bring a Trailer, but I just felt like explaining my situation here and um, maybe Bring a Trailer will see this and be like, oh, you know what, okay, well, we'll I don't know. So after I posted that video, I had posted like a, a feeler on Facebook and uh, I had a few interested parties. One guy who was apparently was supposed to fly into town just literally ghosted me. That wasted about a week of my time. Shortly after him, I was like, okay, before I post on Facebook Marketplace, I'm gonna post on Bring a Trailer. Because honestly, guys, Marketplace is kinda nice, but it's, it's I, this can sound really pretentious. It's filled with people who don't actually have money for the things that they're, they're asking about and talking about. I usually just stay away from Marketplace as best as I can. <laughs> so I wanted to do Bring a Trailer. And so I, if you guys don't know how Bring a Trailer works, this was my first experience with BAT as well. And the way Bring a Trailer works is um, they seem very selective. Apparently, it, apparently it's very selective. You're not gonna let me sell my, like, this AMG, it seems odd, but they're very selective and they actually have real people review the cars that are for sale on their site, which I think is kind of cool. Um, there's a personal touch to it and uh, it's actual staff making sure that, you know, their integrity is maintained. So I respect that part of it, I suppose. Sweet, and now this camera keeps dying on me. 
that's really cool. So, okay, it was like December 1st, I think, that I had submitted this car, and it's supposed to take up to three days for them to review it and get back. But you have to give every detail under the sun, every known fact about the car, some history stuff on it, any additional information, tons of pictures. They, they prefer like, I mean, they have like undercarriage pictures. They want interior. I mean, they want everything. If, you've ever, if you guys have ever seen stuff that's on sale on Bring and it's usually very, very descriptive. And the people who buy on the site typically are very serious, which is kind of why I wanted to last list it on there because I I need a serious buyer. And that's just the one car that I kind of just want to really get rid of because I don't drive it anymore. By the time they ended up getting back to me, I was actually on the way to the funeral. I got the title of the email, which I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and read to you now. It's short and to the point, the title of the message was, your submission to bring a trailer auctions was not accepted. I was immediately like, Excuse me? I was actually shocked. I was quite literally waiting to be accepted. Because, uh, like, like I, this is a, probably one of the more unique and cool cars you'll ever have on your site. In my mind, I was like, okay, they're definitely gonna accept it because, like, it's gonna bring some traffic to their site. They're gonna get views, shares, this and that. Because, like, this, I'm jumping around here, but the guy, there's a guy that recently sold his Carbon Air, my exact body kit, with uh, more miles, less mods. He sold one this last month for $150,000. It was on Facebook as well. It got shared like 2,500 times or 3,000 times, which is like, I'd be nice if that would happen if, you know, when I was selling the car. But, anyways, maybe it will whenever I have to put lifts it on Marketplace. But anyways, that car had been shared so much. The guy who owns Carbon Air, he sold both of his cars for like one hundred thirty dollars or $140,000. Both of them. By the way, that's the guy that has the, the light on the wing. Everybody always asks me, where, where light wing? It's, he didn't actually sell that. So anyways, like, there's a market for it. People like the car. It's very unique. Uh, the Carbon Air body kit is very sought after. Obviously, there you know there's people out there that are willing to pay a lot of money for it. So, anyways, sorry, your submission was not accepted. Thank you for submitting your AMG GTS to us for consideration. We have reviewed your submission and the details of your car closely, and while we appreciate what an extensive build it is, okay. Unfortunately, we have decided to pass on listing it at this time. That like reading that is like. My first question is why? I mean, it sounds like what they're going for is they don't like the modifications to it. And I'm like, that's fine, but like, it, it's just a, okay. Anyways, while we hate to turn away any listing, sounds like it, the market for modified vehicles is typically narrower than more stock examples. And we ultimately want you to have a successful sale. Well, you could just let me try. You're never gonna sell it if you don't get it listed. That's the only way to not have a successful sale. We certainly appreciate the merits of your car and its modifications and our decision does not mean it isn't desirable. <laughs> Thank you, I really need love and exception because I, uh, I'm tired of feeling rejected. I'm tired of feeling rejected. As much as we hate to pass on any listing, it is a necessary part of our curation process. So I don't know, I'm, I'm super interested, and this is a real person that's actually replying to me and apparently filtering through these cars. So it's kind of interesting. It kind of leaves me with a, a little bit of a sour taste for bringing a trailer on that, because it's like, dude, I need to sell a car. There's people out there beyond my reach Cause like, dude, I, my audience isn't necessarily the type of people that have the cash lying around to buy that car. So like, you know, I'm, I'm needing a site that can promote to those people that have the cash to buy that car. And uh, so I just kind of leaves a little sour taste in my mouth. Cause I was, I was really thinking that that was the one surefire place that actually would have worked. Uh, but anyways, they, they ended up in the saying, you know, we appreciate what you considered us for the sale. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Uh, and hopefully we got the opportunity to work with you in the future. So with that being said, I, with that being said, I, I think I'm going to list my Evo three. It's on the left right now. Cause I was getting undercarriage pictures for bring a trailer. And I'm going, Oh, should I even use bring a trailer? Those guys are a little petty. I don't even like them now. So yeah, I was like the rest of the drive. I was like, are you kidding me? This is so weird. And so right now I think what's odd and what puts me in sort of a weird spot is like, I obviously want to sell the car. Trailers are expensive roll cages and you know, getting your car prepped to compete and doing motorsports is really expensive. Paying people is expensive. I just don't like, I, I, it'd be nice to have the, the, the funds from that car back. I've not, I don't really have a connection to any local businesses or local car dealerships. There are some in Dallas that I could work with, um, but it's just like, I don't know what to do from this point. Cause like I was counting on bring a trailer for that to be like my one solid option. There's another, uh, there's one place in Dallas. They said they do consignment. They're not really amped on it. They don't usually do consignment, but they like, it's like a $500 fee and they want 5% of whatever the sale is. It's hard to, it's obviously hard to put a value on that AMG. And I think that's kind of the hardest. Maybe that's probably the hardest part for bring a trailer too, is because like if you want a minimum reserve, which I obviously I'm not dumb, I'm going to put a minimum reserve on that. I think that's with them. They 
they might be like, I don't, I don't really see that happening. Obviously, there are three sales in the last like two months of people buying that exact body kit, and you know they have the money for it, and the sales are there. My car, not to mention, is faster and more modified than any of the other ones that have been sold. My my price should be in the 140 to 155 range, and obviously, I would take whatever realistic offer I could get. It'd just be nice to get rid of the car, get some more space, get some cars out of here, and then finish up some of the builds you, I see, you see behind me. So it's just weird, and I think the hardest part about uh, these, I think the hardest part about these local people too, is they also have to keep that in mind. And I don't know, I, I, I'm not a used car salesman. I'm not a consignment shop. I don't know how that works, but I, a lot of people are like, I don't know, that's a, it's a weird risk for us to take. Like, all you're doing is listing it and I'm paying you <laughs> for that. So I don't know, so far my first experience in selling an exotic or whatever you wanna call it, a supercar, especially a highly modified one, is uh, it has been super interesting. And uh, I don't have a Whistlin' Diesel to come and just you know pay cash for my car either. So Whistlin', if you want it, you're welcome to come destroy it after you buy it. And so I, that's kind of like my thing. I wanted to share my experience with that because this is kind of like where I air out my ideas and what's going on right now. I think I'm gonna still list the Evo 3 on Bring a Trailer. The Evo 3 and the AMG are the two cars that I just am totally fine with getting rid of right now. I actually only, I got the Evo 3 as a trade for my JZX90 and I never intended on on uh, building it or doing anything with it. I was literally going to keep it until the value went up because I knew how rare, the, <clears throat> sorry, I knew how rare the color was. Now they're selling for 45 grand overseas before import. So now I'm like, at this point, I'm like, well, I should probably just get rid of it. I don't need it anymore. I don't drive it. I don't really want to drive it because I don't want to hurt it. I'd rather, you know, use that money. So I'm just to the point where I'm just liquidating some stuff. And I guess another point of these videos is I do have reach in the sense that like, I don't know if, if somebody has any ideas of what I can do locally or if there's any other sites that I'm missing, I guess comment what you would do in, in, in the comment section. Again, I don't want to keep on beating a dead horse here, but like, I, I bring a trailer I think was my, my one solid option that I really thought was going to work um, because that's what all my successful friends who have really rare collectible cars they'll use. And so I'm ho maybe hoping that that can open up some sort of window opportunity. Um, Cause obviously I don't make these videos to be like, oh, one of you subscribers, I know some, one of you guys has 150 Gs laying around. Why don't you buy my car? Obviously everything I've done, I've made videos for 12 years now. If you're, if you're 16 and watching this, I've made videos since you're four years old. I've always done this and it's always just been a reflection of what's going on in my life at the moment. And uh, as much as I really also, I wanna, this is a separate point, as much as I don't really wanna make, I don't love making like update videos. I think sometimes it's crucial. Sometimes I think a lot of people use them as a cop out just to make a video. But uh, I kinda wanted to, kinda wanted to put this out there and be like, hey you guys, Bring a Trailer does, I think I th I think they made a mistake. I think it's kind of silly that they didn't even accept me or even give me a chance. Worst case scenario, just didn't sell, and I you know I would have listed it somewhere else, but I think it would have sold. Like if I could put it on BAT again. So I think my other option, aside from consigning it locally, because that could be very expensive. You know, I mean five percent of one hundred fifty grand is seventy five hundred bucks. It's assuming I sell it for one fifty. I mean it could sell for one thirty, one forty. I want to try. I hate I hate Facebook Marketplace. Like if I'm selling old wheels or something, that's fine. Two problems with Facebook Marketplace is one, people know who I am. And so they sometimes just use my sale, my for sale post as an outlet to just be like, hey, I'm a, I'm a fan, I love your videos, which is great, I love that. I love that you love my videos. But it's like, I'm trying to sell something. It's like, mommy and daddy are talking here. This is not the place, not the time and place. <laughs> so come find me at a meet, tell me all about it. I love you too. Um, and then it's like Facebook Marketplace also is like, it's not a bunch of people with tons of money search Facebook Marketplace, but you just never know. It's one of those things that it could get picked up, it could get shared to the right person, and uh, you know, I might have to deal with a hundred messages of people just wasting my time. Hopefully by the time this video is live, I'll have some sort of an idea, but I think my goal is just to have it posted on Facebook or something, both of these cars, and at least get them available and I guess flood my DMs with people telling me how overpriced my stuff is. There we go. That's my story, and that's how I got here. <laughs> Bring a trailer, give me another shot. Let me put it on your site. I'm just kidding, that's not, that sounds weird. Every video, by the way, guys, I make a, I make daily, I give you guys daily advice. In life, you have ups and downs, you have hills and valleys. Hills being the times where your life is up, obviously, or in, on your high points. And then valleys are, you know, the depths, whenever life is a little darker and you feel like you're just at your all time low or you feel you're, like you're at a, a low spot. Some of you right now might be at a, at, a, at a high. You know, things might be going well, school's great or work's great, your relationship status is great, things are going good. 
Um, one warning I have to give to you for, for both of these scenarios, right, is when you're up high and you feel like life is just going smooth, that's probably because you're coasting. And the only way you can coast is by going downhill. So try not to be passive about the good things that are going on, take advantage of them, and also make sure you're still working hard at keeping your life uh, up on that hill. Also for the people that might be at the bottom. To be honest, right now, like I've, to, this has been a hard year for me. I've lost a few people in my life. Um, I've had a lot of mental health issues. I've had to take a bunch of breaks from YouTube. You know, I, I'm there. I, I know what it feels like to be in a valley. It might seem like the climb is too steep. It might seem like the amount of effort it takes to get back up to where you want to be uh, takes a lot of effort. But I promise if as long as as long as you just keep climbing and you, you do your best to try and get yourself out, work hard, um, be kind, try to hold in your angry emotions, you'll get back up. Because life, life has hills and life has valleys, like inevitably. It'll always go like this, right? You will inevitably have another good moment, especially relative to now. And relative to now, you'll also always have a worse moment. I mean, it always is like that. Something that I always try and do is keep a level head. So like life does this, right? I'm here, I try and stay here. Life's here, my head's here. I'm trying to be positive. Life's here, I'm, my head's still here. I'm trying to be realistic. I could talk about that for a while, but it's just something that, you know, I think it's helpful for your mental health to um, get your brain on the right track. So anyways, I am going to go ahead and get this video edited. I was so frustrated seeing this thing was completely out of focus. It was, really frustrating, but uh, let me know, I guess, what you guys think in the comment section, and also make sure you go to 53supply.com. Um, I wouldn't, I would not trust FedEx, UP, USPS, whoever ships. I know I said Sunday earlier, like Sunday's the last day to get it by Christmas. If you want something by Christmas, don't wait till Sunday, because it's snowy, it's the holidays, you know how it goes. So uh, I would say today is a good day to do that, uh, but grab the merch, it's a great way to support the channel, and it's, Everyone who has bought our merch says that it's very comfy and I know you'll love it. So um, late nights, long drives with some pretty cool colors. I dig it at least. I love you all and I'll catch you guys next video. Peace. Hey!